today on Mod Review. Introducing Science Archive with a K by Leonard Factory. Greetings, fellow KSP player. Do you have troubles keeping track of all your science experiments? Do you miss an experiment, then spend hours trying to find and obtain it? Have you ever landed your rocket just to find you already have the science for that location? Did you know there is a mod to fix that problem and will allow you to better plan your missions? Well then, fear no more, for we have the perfect mod for you with Science Archive. Just watch this video to learn all you need to know. Science Archive can be found from any of the apps bars, either whether you're at KSC or inside the VAB or during any of your flights. Launching it will give you a window with a printout of all of your available experiments and will show any highlighted ones that you have completed. Note this only tracks the science that has actually made it back to the KSC, either by landing or transmitting. They are grouped by experiment type, so to start you will only have surface surveys and crew observations. Each of these will contain a list of all the available locations or biomes. And with your default settings, you will see some question marks for some location or biome names. These are for ones that you haven't discovered or found yet. So before we get started, let's hop over into the settings and see what settings this mod has available. And we are just going to go through our menu to our standard settings menu. At the bottom of the options, you will see mods. This will usually be a little slow to load the first time you launch it during a game. Just give it a few minutes. It usually loads up within about a minute, but this is going to vary depending on your machine, installed mods, and how many mods you have. And there we go. There will be a section for Science Archive and its settings. There's only three of them. First one is show only visited planets, yes or no. This is pretty self-explanatory if you haven't been to the moon. Don't show us any experiments from the moon. Second one is show only unlocked experiments. So if you haven't unlocked an experiment yet, it won't show you those. And then we have the discoverable display mode. This is where the question marks come in for some of the names. So we can tell it to show us all of them, have it censored, which is the default with question marks or discovered. So it won't even show you a question mark if you haven't discovered it yet. So you do have a little bit of option as to how you want to apply this to your gameplay. So with that all out of the way, let's get this going. And we're going to do a test run up to orbiting Kerbin with this mod. So it is off to mission control and tracking our first mission and getting our first craft in the air. We are going to breeze through all these really quick as there is a lot of launches to go through all these. So instead of playing through for an hour of all the missions that we've seen everybody do, we're just going to go through these ones really, really quick and grab some science. And here I got a little bit sidetracked learning that I could actually fly one of these rockets sideways just by gliding. So that was a little bit of a surprise. But now that we're underneath our parachute, we are in a safe time that we can go into our apps bar and pop open the menu within gameplay. So we have access to this here as well. Like I said, we also have access to it in the VAB as well. And once we've recovered our craft, we're going to go back to the KSC and double check our science. And now we've actually managed to return our atmosphere science. So, and then now it is back over to Mission Control to hand in our launcher rocket mission, and we are going to track our next mission out of the atmosphere. So, in pure Kerbal fashion, this is more engines and more fuel tanks to go higher and further. So, with this launch, it's going to give us more regions to take our samples from. Most importantly being getting outside of the atmosphere for the first time. So we're going to grab that science and we are then going to use our fuel and do a boost back so that we can come in and land in any biome that is just not the water because we're going to be landing in the water a lot and we want to sample science from everywhere. So Valentina is going to hop out and gather her science from the grasslands. With new science attained, it is time to recover our craft and go back to mission control and hand in our latest tracked mission. 
and we are also going to track our buoyancy test and orbiting Kerbin as well. We can also get to this inside the VAB as well, so this allows us to plan our missions a little bit better. We can see here for our surface samples, we have obtained our grasslands. And for crew observations, we also have low orbit atmosphere and landed at the grasslands. And we can see they turn blue and get this lovely little green check mark when we're done. And really quickly, we're just going to set a mission and go and get our buoyancy test. So now we can gather all of our science that we can gather while landed or splashed down in water as well as a surface sample. Although our capsule kind of seems to be a little cold in the water. It's shivering quite a bit. But ignoring that, we're going to recover our vessel and go check out our science archive at the KSC. So now we have our experiment for splash down in the water for crew observations. And we also have our surface sample for splash down water. There is two different waters, splash down and just normal water. But however, I did notice that we were missing some from the KSC. So we're going to put a capsule on the runway and we're going to run Valentina over to the grass so we can get a nice clean untainted sample that isn't covered in asphalt and get that all the way back over to our capsule and recover our craft. We'll also turn in our buoyancy test data. So it is just to setting up our mission for orbiting Kerbin, but we do need a little bit of science for that. We need some stronger engines and a couple parts. Requiring a little bit of a redesign of our craft, and we're also going to need to add, you guessed it, more boosters. And as I was doing this a little hastily, I never actually went in and purchased the heat shield. So we also had to bring up extra fuel just so that we can make sure that we get ourselves back without burning up during re-entry. We've also placed ourselves into a high orbit, so we're going to be able to attain science from there as well. And with more science attained, we're now going to use our rocket motor to boost back. And in boosting back, we are going to try and see if we can get ourselves to the beach for another biome sample. Which doesn't work exactly as planned. So I bail from the craft and take a water landing and swim all the way to shore. And once we get to that shore, we're going to grab our science and surface samples and back to the KSC. And checking in with Science Archive, we can see that we now have our beach biome, our Kerbal Space biome for surface samples, crew observations, we have high orbit, low orbit, atmosphere, splash down water, grasslands, although it looks like I did not do a observation from the beach. I got the surface sample from the beach, just not a crew observation from the beach. So this definitely works gangbusters for keeping track as to what you have and have not done, and in some cases even realizing that you missed to do something. Now we attained our goal for this video, which was reaching orbit, but we're going to go a little further and we're going to add some extra science into it. So we just purchased the Science Junior. With that, we're going to start gathering our Science Junior data and have some more information in our lovely science archive. We are also going to unlock our long range probes as well. This gives us a antenna that underneath the orbital survey mod, this will let us start doing orbital survey scans for mapping. This gives us another form of science. And it also proves that this app interfaces with custom mod science as well. So just whipped up a quick little craft here with a antenna, a whole lot of solar and battery to handle the scanning system. So this science archive is really, really great for those completionists out there that want to gather every little piece that they can. It also pairs and works really, really well with this um, orbital survey mod as the science archive tells you exactly what you have done and haven't done. The orbital survey mod will let you know where. So the science archive and the orbital survey are a really, really good pairing of mods to have together. During this flight, I have taken the chance to transmit back any science that is transmittable. And then we are going to activate our scanning, sit back and wait for it to get to its 25% mark. As the orbital survey breaks down its science returns at 25, 50, 75 and 100 which will take 1000 power to return back to KSC. So it does take a little bit of planning and power management to make this work. 
However, the Science Junior has samples that I am not returning back to KSC, so we're going to build a quick little Science Junior craft. We're going to launch that off and obtain that science and return it back. So for this, we're pretty much just going to do a straight up and straight down burn. And this will give us the last little bit of science that we need for this demo for the Science Junior. Now at this moment, it's only telling me surface sample and crew observations. This seems to have happened right as soon as we came into the 0.2.1.0 update. And it should actually be showing us our science for our orbital survey and Science Junior. I did notify Leonard Factory about this and they are looking into it, but I do remember this working in a earlier version just before the latest update came out. In being curious as to what was going on, I went into the mod settings and I turned on all the different science experiments and I scrolled through and they were showing up. It was showing us for orbital surveying, mapping and all of that stuff that we had done. So with it seeming to work, just with a little bit of a glitch, it was time for the classic KSC test, which is relaunch your game and see if that fixes it. So I went back to the main menu, reloaded my game, come into Science Archive, and here it's actually showing us visual mapping, surveys, and our Science Junior crew observations. Everything is all working and totally fine. And as I said, Leonard Factory is looking into this and we'll probably have it fixed soon. In a wrap up, there is not really all that much to add to this. It works, it does what it says that it does. Adds some great functionality to KSP2 and allows you to track your experiments better. It does bring about a little bit of a question for the future of KSP2. I do really think that we need a science building here on the map somewhere, maybe around here. Some building where we can bring all of our different science bits together. With KSP1, we had the info page and side tracking where we could see extra information about the planet, height of the atmosphere, what its gravity level was. And I do believe for the KSP devs that adding in a science building would be a really good addition to the game and to the map. And then depending on your game mode and how you're playing as to what data it's going to show you and when. So maybe if you haven't been to Duna yet, it's not going to show you anything about Duna's atmosphere. And one would actually have to enter into the sphere of influence of Duna or even do a flyby or even an atmospheric skimming to get some extra data and have it show those values. I hope you've enjoyed this mod review for Science Archive. Give it a try. Leonard Factory has done great work with this. It is another mod that I do wholeheartedly believe deserves to be built directly into KSP2. And with that, it comes to the shameless plug of please like, share, and subscribe. It helps out our small channel. But more importantly, it'll help spread the information for others to get the information on the latest mods for KSP2.